Hi there. Welcome to ACE Teachers Online, a series of tutorial videos for students. My name is Suryansh and today we're going to be going through a Section 3 UMAT question. So, although this Section 3 pick the middle question may look a little confusing at first because you don't really know which specific cross to follow, we're going to try to follow the same method we do for all our pick the middles, which is we're going to map it and then try to find a way to read our map to find a pattern and thus the middle. This is a standard pick the middle question which is commonly found in the UMAT where to try to intimidate students they'll give two of indistinguishable elements within the same scaffold. Now before we start worrying we want to do what we would normally do which is map the components. As with all pick the middle questions, we map using the letters as positions. Now what I want everyone to notice is although in option D there seems to be only one cross, in my map I've actually included two. And the reason for that is it's more logical and more simple that one cross is covered behind another than one cross would disappear per se. So, where do we begin when we have this incredibly complex map? You see, the essence of section three is you're looking for the most logical and most simple pattern. And because of that, we want to start with what is the most simple pattern. And that is a plus one, plus one, plus one pattern where the element would move one space at a time. Now, as we can see looking at our map, it's much more logical to start at one of the endpoints rather than to start at A, because there's nothing in the position adjacent to it. So, for example, we'll start here. But that brings up the question, do we start with B, C, or E? But if you keep on reading down further this list, you'll realize that C would be included in it. So I wouldn't want to start with C. And then we have the choice between B and E. But as you see, there are both endpoints. So it doesn't matter all too much. Okay, so we'll start with B for this case. So we go B, A, D, C, E. And that is our standard plus one, plus one, plus one pattern. And we'll write that down. But what we want to do is make sure it works for the remaining crosses. So these are the letters that we've already used. And then we look at it, we check. We look at our pattern and we realize it's gone B to A and then A to D. So a way we can think of that is it's gone plus 1 to the corner, then plus 2 to D, and then to C it's gone plus 1, 2, 3, and then to E it's gone plus 1, 2, 3, 4. So as you can see we have a relatively simple pattern of plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, and then a pattern around the corners of plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. Now, Many of you will probably be asking, what would happen if we started with letter E? So we'll give that a try. So now we're going to try finding a pattern starting with the letter E up here. Because we know we can't use C as it's over here, and we've already tried starting with B. If we were to start with E, we'd still find our simple pattern of plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. So E, A, D, C, B. And that potentially could be another pattern. And then we do the exact same thing. We check if this map would work for the remaining crosses. So we see, we remove what we've already done. So we've used this E for A, D, C, and B. And what we're left with is E in this position to go plus 1 to this A and then it's going to go plus 2 to D and then plus 1, 2, 3 to C and finally plus 1, 2, 3, 4 to B. And as you can see this has that exact same solution of a simple pattern going plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1 around the perimeter and then a plus 1, plus 2, plus 3 and then plus 4 pattern around the corners. But despite these patterns having a different order, 
what you'll notice is that they both give us the same middle, which is answer option D. See our previous video, click on the link here. See our next video, click on the link here. And for more information about ACE, check out the link down below. My name is Suryanch and thanks so much for watching.